and he was nothing. That is E. Jean Carroll describing Donald Trump in her defamation case. Just no power. He had, he was zero. He's an emperor without clothes. It's like looking at nothing. It was like nothing. On MSNBC, she compared Trump to a slovenly and frustrated slow-moving animal. He is like a walrus snorting <laughs> and like a rhino flopping his hand. It was, he is not there. Carol has now won from two separate trials against Trump, verdicts totaling $88.3 million. Rachel, what do you want? Penthouse? <laughs> it's yours, Nothing. Rachel. Penthouse and uh, France? You want France? You want to go fishing nope. in France? No? Oh. All right, all right, okay. That's a joke. <laughs> it's probably not very funny to Donald Trump, but a lot of other people find it hilarious. And social media and the internet are going wild. Annabelle, quote, walrus Trump seems appropriate. Thank you for the imagery. E. Jean's new kitty. And yes, that is Donald Trump's face on the cat. Catherine, exactly, E. Jean. Trump is a loser. Dillagaff, absolutely, everyone should treat him like this. A zero. Instead of Trump Tower, it's E. Jean Carroll Tower. And that has an element of reality to it, because if Donald Trump does not pay up within a few months, the courts will start liquidating his assets. It's not just Donald Trump, though, who is being lampooned and ridiculed. His lawyer, Alina Haba, has been widely mocked for making the Trump defamation case worse. In addition to her mistakes and gaffes in the courtroom, Haba was known for multiple meltdowns. Alina Haba leaving the court and kind of yelling at the reporters. That's what we heard every single day multiple times during this trial, but yelling at the judge. Mm. And it was unbelievably nerve-wracking <laughs> each time it happened, and it happened multiple times every day. But it is Donald Trump who's getting the lion's share of the smears. And in a twist, the Lincoln Project, which has long used humor to hammer Trump, just released an ad that is deadly serious. Every woman knows the terror of sexual abuse and assault. Too many of us know the pain firsthand. Some attack us mentally. Some go beyond that. For too many, it's physical. Even fatal. There's no excuse for sexual assault and abuse. Unless I don't even know who your Republican, is. Donald Trump. No idea who she is. Supporting Donald Trump sends a message to every abuser, every rapist, and every man who's ever used his power to hurt a woman. Because if he can do it, why shouldn't they? Hmm. According to several reports, the attacks on Trump and the verdict itself have prompted several Trump meltdowns. One friend of Trump said the verdict, which was eight times what E. Jean Carroll had been asking for, caused Trump to go berserk. Trump first got the news on his plane on the tarmac in New York. And after the initial explosion, as CNN reports, Trump took to social media. He said, this is absolutely ridiculous. I fully disagree with both verdicts and will be appealing this whole Biden-directed witch hunt focused on me and the Republican Party. Our legal system is out of control and being used as a political weapon. They have taken away all First Amendment rights. This is not America. Of course, I need to say there's no indication at all that this is related to Joe Biden. This is a civil defamation case in New York, but notably missing from there, any attacks on E. Jean Carroll. In other words, maybe Trump has finally decided to stop digging his financial hole even deeper with E. Jean Carroll. And by the way, regarding Trump's temper, a former aide, Cassidy Hutchinson, says the Trump meltdowns were more frequent and explosive the past few years than the public realized. Out of all of the reasons that Donald Trump should never be anywhere close to the Oval Office again, this may seem like a minor one, but his volcanic temper, he deserves to be nowhere near the nuclear code button. So I think that you know, for Americans listening to this and to know that how he reacts so irrationally mm -hmm. 
to things that his own handpicked attorney general are, is telling him that is the truth. You know, I think that we should let the ketchup be splayed on the walls at Mar-a-Lago, and I'm sure there's plenty of it down there. Hutchinson first went public about Trump's anger management issues nearly two years ago in a January 6th Select Committee hearing. She described seeing the aftermath of one of the White House Trump eruptions. There's ketchup dripping down the wall, and there's a shattered porcelain plate on the floor. The valet had articulated that the president was extremely angry at the attorney general's AP interview and had thrown his lunch against the wall, um, which was causing them to have to clean up. So I, I grabbed a towel and started wiping the ketchup off of the wall to help the valet out. Um, and he said something to the effect of, he's really ticked off about this. I would stay clear of him for right now. He, he's really, really ticked off about this right now. And Ms. Hutchinson, was this the only instance that you are aware of where the president threw dishes? It's not. How many more such incidents did you experience there? <laughs> there are uh, several, and that's probably being a little too... Uh, underestimating mm -hmm. a little too much, Lawrence. There were several incidents in the White House when Donald Trump threw dishes. And remember, back then, Trump went nuts because his attorney general was telling the media there was no evidence to support claims the election was rigged or stolen. Now, after sitting in a courtroom and facing a jury, that same jury has humiliated Trump with a larger than expected $80 million verdict for defamation. And E. Jean Carroll is going on multiple cable channels, joking about the money and calling Trump a loser. I had been prepared for the worst force, you know, on the earth today, the most powerful, the most, the most effective, the most money, the richest, the most, you know, you know. And there he is, he's nothing. Why? It's just the people around him who give him the power. One imagines the Trump detonations in recent days have been epic. And again, there are multiple reports that Trump in his recent outburst has gone berserk. In other words, E. Jean Carroll's description of a snorting walrus sounds spot on. The creatures have been known to act violently and irrationally. Although in all fairness to walruses, unlike Trump, those creatures are not associated with sexual assaults and million dollar verdicts. By the way, some of Donald Trump's most fervent supporters include the white nationalist group called the Patriot Front. Dozens of members recently got stymied in New York City by subway turnstiles. <laughs> Those guys with the khaki pants, blue shirts, face coverings, and stymied by subway turnstiles, those are Nazis. Patriot front Nazis. <laughs> Check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of YouTube comments, including this one from Truth Teller 6161 who wrote, How truly embarrassing. The level of stupidity is mind-blowing. They really are on Trump's side, and he can keep them. Indeed. I look forward to seeing your comments about Donald Trump going berserk. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.